Hello again everyone, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have a weekly sales update video for you guys um, for both Etsy and eBay. It's going to be a pretty quick one this week again. Sales are still pretty slow, you know, just in the interest of being fully transparent. You know, they haven't picked up again since, oh gosh, it's been like two and a half weeks now that they've been a little low. So, you know, I'm just going to share the downs with you as well as the ups. Um, and sales are a little down. <laughs> okay, let me just crack on and show you what I did sell. So starting with Etsy, um, I sold this beautiful vintage half apron. It has this really cute strawberry print on it. And I picked this up at an estate sale for a dollar. Um, it's been listed for maybe two months now. It's sweet little pocket I believe this was handmade um, and this sold for $19.95 and buyer paid shipping picked up this apple pie uh, dish at a rummage sale it had um, the recipe inside there um, very cute um, I paid 33 cents for this at the rummage sale and um, did have a sort of a hairline crack running here that I showed in the photographs and put in the description and um, but it's still sold for $14.95 and buyer paid shipping. Um, I picked up this 1987 Disney MGM Studios um, pin at a had some writing on the back you can see there I guess that's when they are uh, Amber and Curtis <laughs> they went in 96. <laughs> um, I picked this up at a yard sale for 25 cents. Um, very cute. Um, and it sold for $8.95. And the woman who bought it, she was super lovely. And she said to me that she had actually just got married um, in a Disney World. Apparently her and her husband were kind of like Disney freaks. They loved it. Um, and all of her guests at the wedding wore the like I'm celebrating with Minnie and Mickey the big pins um so she was super excited to find this and she wanted to know if I had any more and unfortunately I didn't but uh but yeah she was excited and I know it's going to a good home which is very cool um, okay, I got this set of three vintage satin and lace hangers um, in this kind of cream with a white lace trim. I paid 25 cents a piece, so 75 cents total at a yard sale, and they sold for $14.95 for the set of three and buy a page of pink. Um, oh, I picked this up last week and I showed you and I was a little bit freaked out by it, but it sold in about half a day. Um, it's this all is vanity. It was just a print, but it was vintage. It was vintage framed and then whoever had it um, had put this kind of a, oh gosh, whatever, it, whatever it is. Um, like the story behind the piece I guess it was they kind of uh, glued it onto the back there but this was the print and I threw up a few different keywords on there including obviously you can see here vintage Halloween decorations Halloween wall art school decor um, and like I said it sold in half a day and it sold for $14.95 and I paid 50 cents for this last weekend at an estate sale and there was some damage to the uh, I don't know if I can show you here. Here we go. There was some damage here to the frame as well. So that's why I priced it at $14.95. And I feel like that's what it was worth. So I was really happy to get that sale. And the very last thing on Etsy this week was this vintage brass brass hunting horn. Um, I picked this up two weekends ago now at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for it. And I think I told you guys that I had no idea why I picked it up. <laughs> It was one of those things that I kind of grabbed and they said it was a buck and I was like, okay, well, it sold in less than a week. I would say it sold in about two days um, and it sold for $29.95. So I'm really glad that I went ahead and picked it up. Um, okay, so the total that I made on Etsy, this is gross profit. This is before fees and everything like that uh, was $73.75. Look. Okay, moving on to eBay. I sold another pair of these vintage Reebok Classic high tops. Um, yay! <laughs> I sold a pair last weekend as well. I actually sold a pair last weekend for ten dollars more because they had that kind of cool turquoise detailing, and these were a little more plain. Um, but I picked these up for a dollar at a yard sale. I actually had finished at the yard sale and was leaving, and I saw them kind of tucked under a table. And uh, I think the people gave me a funny look when I picked them up and bought them. I don't know, whatever. But <laughs> anyway, I paid a buck for them and they sold for full asking price for $49.99 and buy a paid shipping. So I'm very excited to ship those off to her. 
Um, I picked these glasses up. These were in a big like Ziploc bag of eyeglasses. I picked up an estate sale two weekends ago as well. And um, so they worked out from sort of divvying up all of the uh, eyeglasses in that bag at 18 cents they cost me and they sold for full asking price of $24.99 and buyer paid shipping. Um, and these were actually the only pair of like contemporary eyeglasses in there. They had this, they were really nice. They had this like purple pink half rim detailing. They were very lovely. Um, but yes, I'm excited to have uh, sold those. Um, yeah, not bad for 18 cents. And that was only about two weekends ago. I think I mentioned that already. And they've only been up for less than a week. So they, they went faster than I thought they would. <laughs> um, oh, I got these last weekend at the same estate sale that I picked up that, like, the skull picture, the all is vanity picture. I paid 10 cents a piece for these. These were um, vintage cookbooks, like recipe books, that were from, I think the earliest one was from 1916, and then the other two were from the early 1930s. And they were really beautiful. You can see this, like that salads one there was gorgeous. Um, but they were extremely beaten up. I mean, you can see just like from some of these photographs. Um, so I sort of, I lotted them up, obviously, and I went for the whole kind of book decor thing. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what paid off. It may have been. But anyway, um, I actually took a best offer on these. I took a best offer of $15 because I paid $0.10 cents a piece. And why not, right? And buy a paid shipping. So I was very happy um, considering the condition that they were in. And um, this I had for free from way back when I was in school. Um, and I took a best, this has been sat forever in my eBay store. And, you know, it's a uh, school starting, right? So anyway, I took a best offer of $20. Um, and by paid shipping. So I was happy with that. And it's gone now. And then this sold on sale. I paid 75 cents for this at an estate sale. And this sold for $11.04 and by a paid shipping. Um, okay, and so let me just let you know my numbers. So the total amount of money that I spent in order to acquire all of the items uh, that I showed you today was a, a grand total of $5.06. That's all I paid for everything that I just showed you. Um, and the gross profit that I made this week was $194.77. And then after the cost of all of those items, um, all of the listing fees and the final value fees for both Etsy and eBay, the net profit that I made this week was $174.09. So, you know, it's not a lot, <laughs> but when you consider I put $5 into it, $174 is not so bad. Um, Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. And guys, I just hope you have an amazing week. Enjoy the sunshine while you can. Enjoy back to school uh, if that applies to you. And guys, thank you. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.